today we're going to be doing the Orbeez test and what I'm actually trying to do here is testing the Orbeez in different types of conditions like different types of liquids and solutions to see what makes an Orbeez grow bigger or actually make an Orbeez shrink. So we're going to go through all those tests. It will not be a test on showing you guys how to make an Orbeez but it will be kind of interesting just to see like how Orbeez react to different solutions. So let's get started. The first test that we're doing is using boiling water and put it in the Orbeez. So I also compare it to a regular Orbeez that haven't been used with any type of extra stuff like it just came right out of the bottle. So the one on the left is an Orbeez in the boiling water, the one on the right is not even been touched and as you can see they're exactly the same. For the next test, I also put it in acetone for about 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, I check my Orbeez to see if there's any change or differences. I notice it's a little bit smaller than the original Orbeez that have not been in acetone. As you can see, the one on the left is in acetone for 5 minutes and it definitely has shrunk. The next test, we're going to submerge the Orbeez into oil and we will see how oil actually affects Orbeez after 5 minutes. And after 5 minutes, I decided to check the Orbeez and the ones that are in oil, they didn't look like there's any changes. But if you compare it with the regular one, I saw that the ones that were in oil are slightly bigger than the one that have not been in oil. And you wouldn't know the difference unless you compare the two. And that's why I decided to do these tests because there is a small difference. And now we're going to use vinegar to add to our Orbeez and this one I also used it for about 5 minutes. So after the 5 minutes is up, I check my Orbeez to see if they are any different from the original Orbeez that's inside the tube. I don't really see that much of a difference. It is slightly and I mean very slightly bigger than the original Orbeez from the tube. But I wouldn't say it's that much of a difference in order to for a reaction to take place. Um, if you look at it side by side, there's only a very small difference. So it's not like how the acetone was, like it shrunk the Orbeez. This one, it didn't really do that much. So I would say there wasn't that much of a change, but some people could argue that it did get slightly, very slightly bigger. The very last test, I decided to use salt and I wanted to see if the Orbeez would actually shrink if I put a lot of salt in salt water and after 5 minutes, I decided to check my Orbeez. I don't really see that much of a difference compared to the original Orbeez. They're pretty much about the same. So I would say that the salt solution did not affect the Orbeez in the 5 minute period. However, I'm not sure if it affects it if you put it in for a very long time. But this is just a five minute test to see a quick reaction so i want to also show you guys the ones that were in oil see the one that were in oil is a lot bigger as i said before than a normal orbeez and you can also compare it to the one that's in the salt solution as you can see that uh the, it definitely has an effect when you put it in oil and it doesn't have that much effect when you put it in salt you guys made it to the end of the video hopefully you guys learned a whole bunch of stuff about Orbeez and all the tests that I run I was actually pretty surprised myself 
Um, so yeah, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!